On December 9, 2015, the Missile Defense Agency, in conjunction with the Undersecretary of Defense, Director of Operational Test and Evaluation, successfully intercepted a medium-range ballistic missile target, something Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense with Standard Missile 3 has done many times. This time, however, something was very different. This time, the SM-3 was launched from an Aegis Ashore site located at the Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. FTO-2 Event 1A was a fully operational system test meant to simulate real-world conditions. The U.S. Army soldiers manning the AN-2 radar in the forward base mode, FBM, the Joint Staff manning the Air Operations Center, AOC at PACOM, and the U.S. Navy officers and sailors manning the Aegis Ashore system were not aware of when or where the launch would occur. The medium-range ballistic missile target was launched from an aircraft over a thousand miles away from the Hawaiian Islands. The first indication the crews received was an alert from overhead satellites that had detected a launch. The soldiers manning the AN-2 based on the island of Kauai acquired the target after it broke the horizon using its autonomous search volume and began tracking and discrimination processing. The AN-2 track data was passed across tactical data links through the AOCs to C2BMC at PACOM and then to the Aegis Ashore system at PMRF. Once alerted, the Aegis Ashore crew began the fire control process to launch the SM-3 Block 1B TU. Missile away! The SM-3 Block 1B egresses from the land-based VLS and begins its flyout. Following first stage burnout and separation, the second stage ignites. After second stage burnout and separation, the third stage ignites. After first pulse burnout, the third stage pitches over, ejects the nose cone, and then points the kinetic warhead towards the threat complex. During the entire flyout, the SM-3 communicates with the Aegis weapon system receiving target updates. After separating from the third stage, the SM-3KW acquires the target complex. The kinetic warhead fuses uplink ship data with its own infrared sensor and selects the lethal object the target's re-entry vehicle. Using divert thrusters, the SM-3KW maneuvers into the path of the target, successfully destroying it with kinetic energy. The impact is equivalent to a 10-ton truck traveling over 600 miles per hour. Bravo Zulu, mission accomplished. Back down in the Aegis Ashore Combat Information Center, the data from the KW and the spy radar confirms a successful kill. This was the first successful intercept for Aegis Ashore. The Aegis Ashore concept was developed just five years ago as part of the phased adaptive approach architecture using with the forward deployed AN-2 radar and C2 BMC capability. In order to provide round-the-clock defense of Europe, it was decided to move Aegis and SM-3 ashore. Two sites were chosen, the first to be deployed in Romania in 2015 and the second in Poland in 2018. In order to lower cost, schedule, and risk, the Missile Defense Agency and the U.S. Navy embarked on the Aegis Ashore program, a cost-effective approach to deliver a critical ballistic missile defense capability, essentially taking BMD hardware and software developed for the latest Aegis destroyer and integrating it into a land-based structure. The structure itself is modular, and the deck house being installed in Romania was originally constructed in Morristown, New Jersey, then disassembled and shipped to Romania for reassembly. An Aegis Ashore site consists of the deck house, which includes the SPY 1D radar, the Aegis weapon system, Combat Information Center, CIC, and is accompanied by a support building to provide office space and support systems to the deck house. The site includes three MK-41 BLS modules capable of housing up to eight SM-3 missiles each. While capable of autonomous operation, the Aegis Ashore site will primarily rely on target cues from external sensors like the an 2 radar. In order to conduct testing, an Aegis Ashore missile defense test complex was built at the Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. This site is essentially identical to the deployed sites in Europe in order for the testing to represent an operational system. The initial deployment of Aegis Ashore to Romania 
is on track to be delivered to the Navy by the end of calendar year 2015. It will incorporate the latest version of the SM-3 missile, the Block 1B Threat Upgrade, or TU, which provides capability against more complex threats. The Aegis Ashore sites will be manned by three watch teams of 11 sailors. The crews will go through the same training cycle as those going to sea on the Navy's newest destroyers. Work has already begun on assembling the weapon system components for the Poland Aegis Ashore system, and work will begin on the site in 2016, which will be delivered to the Navy in the 2018 timeframe. It will incorporate the Aegis 5.1 weapon system, which adds the capability to engage on remote. It will also include the next generation SM-3 Block 2A missile being co-developed with Japan. Aegis Ashore leverages the Aegis, SM-3, and VLS family of systems. Aegis Ashore uses the same BMD hardware being deployed today for the U.S. Navy's most advanced destroyers. It also employs the same Aegis Baseline 9 common software library. Aegis Ashore is designed for mid-course ballistic missile defense, and by possessing common hardware and software with the Navy's newest destroyers, the system provides Aegis Ashore with the growth capacity needed to pace the evolving threat. The sites in Romania and Poland will be deployed with three VLS launchers. Each launcher is capable of housing eight SM-3 missiles. Aegis and SM-3, the first and only regional BMD system to be deployed on land and at sea. Aegis Ashore provides the warfighter with the ultimate flexibility sea-based mobility or land-based sustained operations. Aegis BMD and SM-3, whether at sea or on land, the standard for ballistic missile defense. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense, on land, at sea, on watch.